What's the deal, doggy bones? Is go J, you feel me? And we about to be reacting to Bobo girlfriend, Mala Mulan did this behind his back. And the reason why we're reacting to this, I was telling my friend, I'm like, bro, I'm not trying to be mean to bro, but let's be honest. If Bobo was a six foot person that didn't have money, and he walked up to this girl right here and was like, shit, what's the deal? What's your number? Will he pull her? Let's be honest. Will he pull her? Only how he will pull her if he knew her already or she actually fuck with bro personality. But as I feel like, you know, she seen he was a basketball player. He had money. So, you know, she was, you know, whoop de whoop You know the rest. But, man, let's get into this. I don't know what she did behind his back, but let's get into this. All they do is talk about him. Look at my face. Stop talking. You on my page. They not talking no more. They talking talk about him. That's my man, y'all. Take it. Oh, I can fast actually go. my boyfriend's career right now because there's things in the works. But just know. Yeah. 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 Money on money on me. Fucking old bitch in the back. I don't give a fuck no track man straight where the gun. So you guys, I wanna bring out this video on Bobo and his girlfriend Milan just because we got some things we gotta talk about. Now, I know my last video I mailed them was about like two months ago. Yeah, she so this video is basically a update on their relationship just because I got some information that I wanna go over with you guys about Bobo and Milan's current situation. So before I start this video, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram at underscore the only Wallace. And also go subscribe to my second channel called TK Wallace Vlogs. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel as well. I will be hitting 50k very, very soon. I need each and one of you guys help. Now let's get to the video. So first thing first, let's talk about Bobo. Now we all know Bo just finished off his second year in the NBA playing with the Denver Nuggets. Throughout 32 games and only averaging five minutes per game. He only averaged two points, nearly one rebound, shooting 43 field goal percentage and shooting 37% from the three-point line. So as you can see, Bo was not getting no playing time at all throughout this year. And for his rookie year playing with the Denver Nuggets, he didn't play at all. When you look at his stats, they said that throughout seven games, he averaged five points, two rebounds, shooting 50 field goal percentage and shooting 44% from the three-point line. But honestly, you guys, the only reason why his stats even looked like that his rookie year is because when they played in the bubble, he actually got playing time. But throughout the season, for his rookie year, the Denver Nuggets was not messing with him. They sent him off to the G League. He was playing with the Windy City Bulls and all types of stuff. So the Denver Nuggets was really doing him wrong. But then once they found out and realized that he actually is a good NBA player and he should have more playing time, you know, around the bubble time, that's when they decided to start playing him more. And after that, they decided to re-sign him to another two-year four million dollar contract and that's what he's currently on right now which means next season he will be getting paid two million dollars for one more year and in 2022 he will have a qualifying offer for 2.6 million dollars or he can become a restricted free agent but we all know bobo fans they want him to get traded right now they don't even want him to start off his third year playing with the Denver nuggets because as you can see they're not playing him at all in my opinion they definitely should trade him but they know he's actually good and they know his real value but for some reason, I feel like the Denver Nuggets is trying to figure out if they can get something out of Bobo. But in my opinion, it's definitely free Bobo because, yo, he is like that. He deserves to be on a team where he can get we'll playing get time, such as like the Atlanta Hawks or maybe the Houston Rockets. Somebody somewhere, Miami Heat, can he even draft the okay, Bobo? I don't even know why they even decide to trade him on draft night. But we all know his situation right when he left out of college, attending Oregon University. Bobo came out of college with a foot injury, right? And he was already projected to be a lottery pick throughout that entire year. But once he had to sit out with his foot injury and he entered the draft while he was injured, that's when his draft start went down. And a lot of teams passed up on him because they were scared to draft him. He's an undersized center. And it just like people just scared to draft him for some reason. I guess it's because of his weight and size for his position. We all know it's not easy to guard him. This dude has handles being 7'2". He dribbles like he's a guard. He can shoot the ball. He can shoot off the dribble. 
you already know he's going to make the shot when he's open. He's a really good, efficient shooter. Bobo plays defense. We all know he's a good defender. He has a long wingspan. It's just like, bro, he's like that. Like, come on. I just can't wait until he actually get the opportunity to show out, man. He just need to get on the team where they will allow wait, him to play. I just noticed and that. even his girlfriend, Melange. Uh, I just noticed that. Bro, been talking about, bro, I'm trying to see what's going on between him and his girl. He's cool and all, but. Trying to see what's going on between him and his girl, like you feel me? Nigga, she was on Instagram Live, and I remember she was talking about Bobo's situation with the different nuggets, and she said there's works in the making and stuff, but I can't speak on it. So hopefully, you know, Bobo, they can really trade him to a different team because man, he needs to go somewhere else and showcase his skills to the world and show everybody what he's about. So hopefully, she was telling the truth, and there really is some stuff going on because we need Bobo on another team. Now let's move on towards Bobo and his girlfriend Milan Hernandez. So you guys, the real reason on why I brought y'all this video is because I have been peeping some red flags about Milan. You know, with her still talking to Bobo and just the things she been doing. Now, if you guys do not know, just recently her and Bo was just in Hawaii together. And it looked like Bo was extremely mad because she made a video and she posted it on her Instagram story. And when you just look at Bo's face, this dude was looking really, really mad. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that I 100% know that he was mad, but just looking at his face, he looked he extremely look mad. Because usually when I see Bobo Damn, or when someone's recording him, such as his friends, as in Sharif O'Neal, or even when his girl Milan be recording him, most of the time he got a smile on his face and he looked happy and stuff, usually when he's on camera. But this time you can tell like it was forced and he was not looking happy at all. So let's go over some of these red flags that I peeped about Milan Hernandez. Now, the first red flag that I peeped, was well, not the first actual one that I peeped, but the most recent that I have seen was not too long ago, she made a post on this off topic, but how do y'all females be having this right here? Like, what are that bitch phone your eyes? Like, on her Instagram story, right? And she was just showing people that she rejected five thousand dollars from her boyfriend Bobo. And honestly, in my opinion, that definitely is a red flag because she clearly wants attention. She's trying to prove to the world that she loves her man. It's like, why are you even trying to prove people that you love Bo? Like, that's your dude, right? There's no reason why you should even be trying to impress or prove anything to nobody besides him. And on top of that, she made a quote after that. She said, me rejecting my man trying to bribe me. Love you, though, Papa. Like, what? That don't even sound real genuine love to me. And on top of that, when you look at her contact save for Bo, it's only a emoji. Now, if you've been dealing with females and stuff, you know how that go. If she only got you saved as an emoji, then you know how it is, man. I ain't gonna sit here and speak too much on it, but come on, man. It is so obvious. I really feel like she's not taking Bo seriously. Basically, the picture when she was wearing his jersey, she deleted or archived it. And when she was pulling up to his games, usually when you look at her Instagram, you will see like all of her pictures of her, you know, pulling up to his games and stuff. But now it's not there. It's all about her like she's single. So that's definitely another red flag. And on top of that, she's not following him. So you already know. Another thing that I peep is that I remember when I watched her Instagram live, she turned off her comments because of Bobo fans. So why would you turn off your comments? because of Bobo fans. If that's your guy, why do you even care about what they got to say? Because regardless, they only support you, man. You're talking to Bo. I know some of them might be talking crazy and stuff like that, but you know how it is. You're a celebrity. Bo is an NBA player, you know? So that kind of is a red flag to me because why are you even worried about what they have to say? And when you usually read the comments, it's nothing bad. They always just talk about her you know, her looking good and just about Bobo. It's never nothing bad, but she decides to turn off her comments and block off all his fans. Moving on, so another thing that I realized is that she has a really negative mindset because when you look at all the quotes she be posting, they be negative. And they be about guys talking about, you know, guys ain't nothing and all types of stuff. You know how most of these females be. So it's just like, yo, that's a red flag because I've been seeing a lot of bad quotes, man. And it's not looking good for Bo because I know Bo is a good dude. And if she's posting quotes like this and feeding all this stuff off of social media, you know, then you can tell what type of mindset she has. And it's not going to be good for Bo in the long run. 
So that's definitely a big red flag for you guys. And not too long ago, she even made a post. She said, don't ever think you low. Trust me, I know. So, bro, like, I just feel like how she act and just how her mindset is, she definitely wants control over everything, for real, you guys. And you already know, she's sneaky because, bro, like, I just know she's sneaky. Look what the things she be saying. Like, come on, yo. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Honestly, you guys, I feel like Bosa break up with Milan because it don't look like this is genuine love. I feel like the things that she's doing, she's this doing it out of attention, of course. Because check this out, you guys. If y'all don't know, she got invited to Wilder now. That is crazy. Like, how did she get invited to Wilder now? You already know they throwing her the bag. And on top of that, she's getting more connects. You know that definitely happened after her getting all this attention. You know, being with Bobo and people just giving her attention because nobody knew about her. And now, as you can see, she's on Wilder now. Man, oh man, oh man, she's really gaining for talking to Bo and just being known by being his girl. But the real question is, how does Bo feel? Because like I said, when they was in Hawaii during that video, he was looking really, really mad. And also not too long ago, he sent her $5,000, even though she rejected it. But you never know, she probably asked for more or she probably is playing a waiting game with him. As in, she know exactly what she's doing because she can get more money in the future. So it's just like, I don't know, man. Just the fact that Bo even sent her $5,000, that's definitely a big red flag to me because I feel like, you know, they was already doing stuff like that, if that makes sense. But I definitely want y'all to leave y'all comments and opinions below on how do y'all feel about Bobo and Milan's relationship. The thing about me is that, honestly, at first, I didn't have no problem with them talking. They haven't really even been talking for that long, but it just recently, I've been seeing a lot of red flags, and that's why I decided to bring y'all this video. And on top of that, I see other people and YouTubers making videos talking about their situation. And even on social media, such as Instagram and Twitter, you know, a lot of people is talking about it. But I definitely want y'all to leave y'all comments and opinions below and tell me how do y'all feel about this. I thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you press the notification button. T again, we out. In my opinion, be honest, in my opinion, Bobo should have been the one to say something. Yeah, I feel like she should have been the one to say something. It's a it's a certain way you can tell if a uh, female act towards someone. You feel me? Like the the way she move and act. Like she cold. So now she got that mindset to see everybody like basically know her and she getting like invites to walking out. She can get any any rich person she want if she really wanted to. So now she had that mindset like I don't really care about bro like that. But I could be wrong. You never know. But. Hey man, that's it for the video, you feel me? Go Jay out.